It's October 30th in Baltimore, Centennial Conference Championship. Should be an exciting race between Haverford Goats and the Hopkins. What are they? Blue Jays, I guess. Of course, it's a little mucky from right. big rain yesterday, but it's uh, otherwise a good day. Temperature about 58 degrees, a little bit of wind. Okay, here we go. They're off. At the Rowan meet a couple of weeks ago, Hopkins beat Haverford by one point. Here they go. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see them when they go around the corner over there. Looks like they're dipping. A lot of glare. They'll be doing two and a half loops. It's been about three minutes. Here they are, it's about five and a half minute mark. Hard to tell who's doing what. We'll get another look in a couple of minutes when they come close to me. They should be turning up towards us here. There he is. Yeah, 
Okay. There's the two leaders. And then the rest of the guys right here, the next group. I think they're going to be turning and cutting across. Okay. Okay. The leader is about 30, 40 meters ahead. Okay, go guys. Okay, guys. There's a leader from, I think, Dickinson, I think. And then there's the next chase group. It's got four runners there in the chase group. Looks like two Haverfords, the Hopkins, and I'm not sure. Muhlenberg, Dickinson, and the leader here. Looking good so far. We're about halfway through the race. Okay. So we got Okay, there's two Hopkins. Okay, three Haverford runners. Four Haverford runners. Five. Okay. Okay, at these. Is that Ferguson and Bratt? Okay, the leader, and then the chase group. Looks like Ryan Creedle trying to make the chase. Okay, how far ahead is the leader? He may be gaining.
Where is the leader? There he is. I've lost track. Okay, there's a the leader. Okay, there's the leader. I'm here, I think, is Ryan from Haverford. I think. Or is it? Yes, it's Ryan. He's gaining. He's gaining. And then, right behind him, is a Hopkins and a Haverford runner. Go goats! Go goats! He's about 30 yards behind. First Hopkins runner. Go goats! Catch that Hopkins kid! Another Dickinson runner. Okay, Swarthmore. Go Goats! Go Goats! Go Goats! Go Goats! Go Goats! Go Goats! We're at the 22 minute mark. Go Goats! Looks like he's got it. And Ryan's got second. And then, here's the first Hopkins runner. Here comes the finisher, the, lead, the winner from Dickinson. I wish I knew his name.
25-21. Ryan. Good job, go Goats! 25-32. First Hopkins runner. Here comes the sophomore runner. Here comes our third runner. Let's go, Charles! Finish up! That's it. 25-50. Hopkins. Okay. We got two. We got three. We got four. Okay. Hopkins runner. For two Hopkins. Here it is. Come on, Nico! Finish! Finish! Yes! Yes! Okay, all right, five! And number six! We did it, I believe! Okay. Okay. That's it. Here comes another Haverford finisher. Alright! 27-30. Okay, here comes another. Here this is Jeff Allen, I Just a nice picture. Thank you. <laughs> Just one. Hey Nico, were you Nico, were you the number five finisher for the team? What? Were you the number five finisher? I was, I was. Great job. Yeah, thank you. Great job. <laughs> Boy, did we need that. That was worth the trip. Okay. <laughs> Happy. Happy goats. Ryan, great run. I thought you got I thought you were gonna get that guy, but he had a little something left in the last 400 meters. He made a crazy move halfway yeah. through, and I thought he'd come back more than he did. No, he did. well you know you made a tactical decision, you ran a great race, you know. He was come you were coming back to him, but he still managed to have a little something left. Uh, but great race. And I think we won, didn't we, as a team? Yeah, it looked like it. I was trying to keep track. It looked to me like we did. Great, great team effort. The jubilant. There's Jamie. No, every time I ask a spectator, it's like, you need one guy. You need one guy. I don't know what the official score was. Jamie, great run. Thank you, John. That's the way to work it. Yeah, it was fun. You know, but at a certain point, there was two of you guys together, and there was a, like, a couple of Hopkins guys, yeah. but then you dropped them. Yeah, it was a good, it was yeah. a great battle. Yeah, and it was really good. And I, I get to see, that's that's where we're going to win or lose. You know, in, in those little battles like yeah. that. There were several of those little battles going yeah. on. But anyhow, congratulations. Thank you, like, well deserved. Great run. Yes. Okay. Second time I've ever beaten this guy. Yeah, you ran great. Well, now was a great time to do it. Yeah. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> the Credo family celebrated. Photographs, well deserved. Welcome to the 2021 Centennial Conference Cross Country Championships Award Ceremony. Early, 
Tito. In 13th place, we have a third, Nico Tripman. In 12th place for Johns Hopkins, Tyler Ennis. Oh right. In 11th place for Swarthmore, Atticus Hunter. In 10th place, from Johns Hopkins, Gavin McLennan. In 9th place, from Haverford, Jamie Moreland. In eighth place, from Haverford, Peter Buckley. Congratulations to our second team all conference honorees. Our men's first team all-conference honorees. In seventh place, from Dickinson, Charles Sharp. Good job. In sixth place, from Johns Hopkins, Tommy Lee. In fifth place from Haverford, Max Breland. Go Max! In fourth place from Swarthmore, Adrian Keaton. In third place from Johns Hopkins University, Matthew Kleinman. In second place from Haverford, Ryan Frito. In our 2021 individual men's champion from Dickinson with a time of 25-22, Christopher Scharf. Yeah. Yeah, great race. Made a bold move at mile two and three. 
got the lead, he was able to sustain it. All Centennial, first team on Rees. Gingsburg. In fifth place, Ursinus. In fourth place, Swarthmore. In third place, Dickinson. In second place, Johns Hopkins. And the 2021 team champions with a score of 37 points, Haverford. Congratulations, boys. Well deserved. Look at them happy guys.